from the the, the Ghana the, the National Teaching uh, Council in Ghana, yeah. you know, uh, development of teacher professional standards, which is very critical. These are the benchmark of the kind of modicum of knowledge, the skills, the pedagogical skills, yeah. and the, the, what you expect from the teacher. Also, we have what you call teacher code of uh, conduct or code of ethics, yeah. which is very critical as well, because we want to know how, how do you behave as a teacher? Yeah. What should be your relationship with your learners? And some of these things are guided by our principles. Yeah. Okay? So these are standards that have been set with, with, within the ambit of AFTRA to make sure that countries actually key into this mm. to develop their, their, their teaching profession. Mm. And I think with, the, with, with, with this movement, uh, Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa, yeah. Kenya, you know, you, you could see what is going on. going on. Now, even the African Union has instituted now, yeah. this year, they have just instituted what they call the AU Teacher Prize. Nice. And they started for the first time. Yeah. So it's gladly to know that, look, this movement is really catching fire in yeah. the continent. Yes. yes, it's a good one. It's a good one. What, what, what is being done, Lawrence? What, what, is, what, what, what was, in fact, why was the conference uh, in Lesotho held in the first place? I want to understand why you organized No, it is an annual conference. Okay. It's called Teaching and Learning in African mm. Conference. And last year, yeah, this year in Lesotho, yeah. we were able to look at, um, you know, uh, Teaching and Learning in Africa for Global Competitiveness. Okay. You know, that's to show you that actually we want to benchmark ourselves okay. with what, what is happening in the rest of the world. Okay. Because we, you know, we cannot be in a, even African teachers yeah. go to teach in the rest of the world. No, it may surprise you to know that. No, that's actually Yes. True. Ghanaian that's teachers, true. Nigerian teachers, they are found teaching in the rest of the world. Yeah. And so if we want to operate at global level, we will have to understand what is the movement globally and be able to key into what they are doing. And so the conference was able to look at, you know, what are the global issues that have been discussed okay. and how do they... You know, how do we tackle them in Africa? Okay. And um, as Africans, we were able to sit down together at that conference and mm -hmm. be able to extract all our activities within the ambit of the global movement okay. so that we'll be able to position ourselves. Ooh. It was a good opportunity for African countries to come together yeah. and be able to look at what we do uh, as against what the rest of the world, the world is doing. Is doing. Yes. So what, what are some of the issues that came up during the conference? No, we look at the issue of pedagogy. Okay. You know, what Can are you the bring new... that down for us? Yes, teaching, <laughs> teaching, teaching skills, you know. Okay. Uh, teaching knowledge and skills, pedagogical knowledge and skills, okay. okay, of our teachers. How, what do we do, especially with relation, in relation to ICT? Okay. okay. Yes, which ICT is very is critical. It is a 21st well century teaching. Exactly. You know, our teachers cannot afford to remain as what you call BBC teachers, mm. born before computer teachers. <laughs> you know, BBC. Yeah, born, they are born, born before BBC. computers. Exactly. Our teachers cannot afford to remain as BBC teachers. Yeah. And world so they have to changed. move. They have to be technologically savvy. Yeah. They have to move with the rest of the world. These are some of the issues we look at. And how to use technolo technology mediated learning, mm. technology mediated examination, and some of the issues that surround uh, the 21st century teaching. These are some of the things that we examined in Lesotho. Okay. And so many papers were presented by experts okay. across the continent, and they were able to zoom up some of the things, steps that country, countries could take to make sure that we achieve this. Okay, so you, you brought up the uh, issue of steps again uh, to be able to curb this issue. What, what are some of these steps that emerged? No, look, for example, like, you know, that, that she, he has been talking about you know, going to look at your standards. Yeah. Each country was mandated to actually develop its own professional standard. Is it at the point of uh, joining or every year it's reviewed? Well, no. In Nigeria, we have just, we developed our professional standard in 2010. The first, was, the first one was developed in 2010. We have just reviewed it this year, given the current realities, given the current global realities. Mm. We have just reviewed it this year. So countries that have the professional standard before, like um, even... Uh, South Africa, they have just developed their professional standard and is going through the National Assembly in South Africa to be able to make sure that it's passed as a law. Mm. It, 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 it goes through as a law for the country. And that will guide the operation. So countries actually were mandated after the conference to go back, look at their professional standard, look at their code of conduct or code of ethics and see how they can improve that to make sure that we uh, incorporate current global realities. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, um, Lawrence... There, there's a, an executive board meeting actually happening right now in, in, in Ghana uh, in preparation for the conference that will happen next 2020. year. 2020. Yes, exactly. Before we even talk uh, about the, com uh, the, the preparations toward the conference, I'd like to understand the kind of challenges that you've had um, in implementing all these things from the conference here in Ghana. No, with the conference, as Prof said, 
it's annual rituals. Yeah. Yeah. Where uh, we, uh, the executive board members come together to discuss issues confronting the t teaching in Africa. Yeah. And then fix a date and make preparation towards the uh, how to organize the after our conference. In uh, yeah, last week, we were in Nigeria to look at um, how the establishment of AFTRA is taking place over there. And over there, the Minister of Education has given us an uh, office and a vehicle to run AFTRA because yeah. uh, that is where we manage our day-to-day um, -day activities. activities. In Ghana, because the, uh, the issue of teacher professionalism started two years ago, yeah. getting the buy-in of uh, stakeholders hmm. is something we have to intensify because um, people don't see why teachers should even be lying in the first place. Yeah. And again, people also think that once you have gone through the training, there's no need for you to sit for any lines examination. Exactly. But this is the case. We have so many tech training institutions in, uh, in the country. Yeah. Legon is training teachers. Yeah. Tech is training teachers. Valley View, yeah. uh, KNU and region. others. Yeah. So for us to have a common standard to ensure that teachers who are coming out are good materials for our classrooms, there's a need for us to subject them to a standard test. Okay. And that is why the Ghana teacher lines examination was established. Okay. And one of the critical challenges that we are facing is about the issue of the license. Okay. You know, the license is a, a card that contains biometric information. Yeah. And it must be paid for. Mm. So last month, we had a sensitization program where we raised the fact that teachers are going to pay for the license. Mm. And because the education hasn't gone well, people don't see why teachers should pay for the license. <laughs> for the license. They want the license, but the payment issue is where they don't seem to okay. agree. So we are planning to engage them to see how we can explain things Better. to them. Exactly. Because the teachers are now going to go through professional development programs. Okay. And the professional development program will help them to update their knowledge and skills. Right. And we have people who go to the field to assess the portfolio that teachers will build. Right. And part of this payment will be used to pay such assesses. Okay. And apart from that, they'll be renewing their licenses every, every two years. Okay. Okay. And all yeah. as part of um, the after standards. Yeah. Yes. After yes. Let me let me just we'll let me just weigh in a time. bit. We'll yes. I just want to weigh time. in a bit about okay. our so teachers. We'll take your last few yes. words because you yes. ran out I of have time. to weigh in here because look, okay. it's not only in Ghana. Teachers have to pay for this. Other professionals actually pay for their licenses. Yeah. Lawyers do. Medical doctors do. Yeah. Nurses nurses as yeah. well pay for their licenses. So teachers. Are not should. Uh, should actually pay in Nigeria. You pay for the professional qualifying examination, okay. you pay, pay for your certificate of registration, you pay for your licenses. Right. You know, it's, it's important because this is how the teaching council will have to survive, survive you as, know, well. Uh, as well. Yes, okay. in terms of running their programs. Okay. So, I think we want to encourage our and let me say this nobody is going to celebrate us as teachers, yeah, we, we are going to, to celebrate ourselves, exactly. Okay, and that's why I will enjoy exactly. my compatriots to make sure that they join forces with um the teaching uh, council, the national teaching council, to make sure that uh, they, they have a teaching council that is of international standard. Yeah, in Ghana. In Ghana. Okay, well, it's yes. been interesting, and I hope that we'll have more time next time. You, uh, okay. We would have you on, on our show uh, when the conference is nearing, hopefully, so that we can continue with the discussion. But I've been speaking to Prof. Uh, Josiah Ajiboye, Ajiboye, Registrar of Nigeria Teacher Registration Council, and Lawrence Sapong, Acting Director, Continuous Professional Development, and a representative of... Um, He's the executive secretary of NTC in Ghana. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank We've been you talking very about much. teachers and Krista, we'll be getting into it's been wonderful <laughs> being with you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. We'll be getting